Okay, guys, this is Taffy, and I've already, um, in another video, I've shown you how to do the clipper work, um, which is really only paw pads and sanitary areas. And um, I've bathed her, I've done her, her toenails, her anal glands, cleaned her ears, we brushed her out real good, um, got her dry, and then I brushed her again. And what you want to use with a, a palm like this is a double or a double coated dog is a pin brush or else you'll, you'll break off the ends and it'll look really pretty rough but um anyway as you can see she's kind of in her rough state right now she's not been trimmed yet so that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now um first off I like to start she doesn't like to stand up too much so we'll see how this goes on tape but um I like to start with the feet and um, like I said I already did the toenails you always want to do the toenails and the paw pads before you do this and what you do is you pull the foot upside down to where you're looking at it and you want to start with the front two toenails and pretty much just make it right even with those two toenails you don't want to expose them you're, you're trying to make a nice little round kitty cat like shaped foot and then once you're done with the underside you want to take I usually use a slicker for this just because it grabs the hair real nice for me and I fluff up in between the toes just a little bit and scissor them nice and smooth not clean down to the foot by any means you're just barely neatening the top of the foot okay and then you do that with all the little feeties same thing here okay start with the front two toenails Work your way around. You trim off the back, even with the paw pad, that way she doesn't drag a bunch of stuff in. Lift it up. Like I said earlier, you want to be careful with uh, Pomeranian legs because they tend to have um, luxating patellas. Hers do a little bit. So you got to be real careful with them when you bend their legs. Oops, let's tell. Okay, now when you've gotten the feet done, what you want to do from there is stand your dog up. From there I work up to the legs. And on the front legs I comb everything, all the feathering straight back. And this is kind of a hard angle for me, so it's going to be a little tricky. But um, what you want to do is you want to take your shears and you want to angle them in towards the paw and just neaten the feathers up back there. Okay? Comb it out again. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Pretty much always go over everything at least twice. Sometimes even more. You can even comb them out to the, to the side here and look at them from the front and just neaten down the side there. Okay? And then the back leg, the back end is quite a bit different, of course, than the front end. And the uh, first thing I do is I lift all of the little, I call them butt feathers, out of the way. Um, and you comb up the hair on the back of the leg here, the back of the hawk, and you scissor it straight down. I don't want you going all the way up to your dog's leg by any means, but you want to make it fairly tight in there, nice and and neat. If they're really fuzzy, you can kind of neaten up all the way around the leg. She's a pretty fuzzy girl. Okay, but just the bottom from here down. Okay, then as far as the behind goes, you want to make sure you can get a comb completely through it before you do any trimming. That's where all the brushing we did today came in, which I didn't videotape, but I did show you my technique on brushing, so that should help you out. And what you want to do is you want to make sure the tail's out of the way. Fluff everything straight out, pretty much. Okay? And, whoop, and then you take your scissors and scissoring down, you just want to round it out. Okay? Just to neaten it up, keep it clean. Alright? Different ways you can hold your scissor to do this. You'll just have to try and figure out what works best for you. Everybody's different with scissors. 
Okay, there's one little hiney cheek. Okay, so that's pretty much that side. And another thing I do is, um, pretty much everyone grooming wise does it. Do comb this stuff out here. And you take your thinning shears, the ones with teeth, or blenders, whatever you want to call them. And you just neaten around the tail area here just a little bit so it sits a little flatter. You don't want to make a bald spot or anything. We've already shaved her little hiney, um, which is optional. You can use the thinning shears for that if you don't like the shaved look. But we just do that to keep her nice and clean. Okay. Now from there, okay, we turn around just like that. And we're going to comb everything down here, her whole belly. Again, this is where the combing and the brushing comes in handy because you want to be able to get through that coat nicely without catching on mats or undercoat. Okay? Stay there, sweetie. Good girl. Okay. Now, what you're doing here is just basically creating a nice neat line, which she's not too bad off because she comes in fairly often. Pomeranians really need to be done at least once a month. They need to be done a little off, more often than that, especially full coated like this. Um, but, you know, if you can't afford it, that's, that's one thing. Or if for some reason your groomer can't get you in that often, you know, that's another thing. But you need to, to try and brush and bathe at home in between if you can't get in every, every four weeks at least.